Welcome, welcome, welcome to Walk Worthy Empowerment Podcast Show with me, Tacola. I am your host, and I'm excited to be here today. I'm very excited to be here to start this new week with you guys. I love Mondays. I'm excited to be here and to get started with what God is going to release through me today. You guys know Mondays are the day that I prepare you for your week. And we have been doing this series of our identity in Christ. And the last show, I believe we talked on um, walking in love, light and wisdom. And I gave you guys my personal testimony of how I overcame unforgiveness and bitterness and all that good stuff. And God really transformed my life in love. He perfected me in love through him. And I'm excited to start this week episode of today's podcast show to help you guys and to help us understand our identity in Christ. That's the purpose of this series. I hope you guys been in, enjoying it. I hope that God really been moving in your life these past weeks, these past months. For we know like in this time that we're going through a major, major transition with God. And I'm just here to be used to be a vessel to help us in this transition and to be able to combat the things that we probably experience in this new transition. So, and a lot of times when we give our life to Christ, sometimes we don't have nobody to hold our hand. We don't have nobody who, who can walk us through the walk, right? We think once we give our life to Christ, everything will just fall in place. I know for me, I thought that I was like, Hey, once I give my life to Christ, Everything is going to be fixed, but no, it's the total opposite. When I first gave my life to Christ, everything was turned over. Things start to look crazy. And the enemy wanted me to believe that I made a huge mistake. But what I began to realize was that the work began in me. God began to transform me from the inside out. And this series is to really help us in this area of understanding our identity because a lot of people, I see it on YouTube, I see it on Google search that people are searching for these things. How do I walk this walk of Christ? How do I walk it out with God? How can I be on the right path with him and knowing that he's with me when you give your life to Christ? And this series is to do just that. So if you just not tuning in, you just not finding this episode today, I want you to go back Over the past uh, couple of episodes, we've been doing this series for about a month and a half now, I believe. So I want you to start at the beginning of this new series because I truly believe that you will be blessed by it, especially if you're just tumbling on today's episode today. I believe that it will really help you in your walk. And I believe that today is a day for you guys to really understand that. So thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for tumbling on this video. I'm also live on TikTok right now, so I'm excited. Hello, hello, hello. You guys are joining me. Thank you for being here today. Let me know in the comments where where are you tuning in from, what part of the world that you're in right now. Let me know in the comments. Let me know so I can greet you guys. And I'm excited to be here and to get started. So let's get started with today's episode is your identity in Christ and what is in your hand. I'm excited to get started with this because first and foremost, how was your week? I know this past week has been a a lot for me. I've been very busy going through a lot of new changes. That's really, um, they're good and it's still new to me and I'm really, um, still, balancing everything out but with the help of the holy spirit he's really been helping me with the new changes and everything that i'm experiencing i know i'm not the only one that's going through a lot of transition in this season and um one thing that god put on my heart today was to ask you guys what is in your hand what is in your hand today what is it that what is it that god is doing in your life that's helping you to maneuver, that's helping you to understand the gifts and the things he have placed inside of you, what it is that he's doing in this season. How would you know the gifts that God have given you? Because when God give us gifts, he want us to use it. As we see with Moses, um, he gave Moses a rod. And one thing Moses struggled with was his insecurities 
on what to do with the gifts. And the one thing that I do want to address is the fact that when I first gave my life to Christ, I didn't know my gifts. I didn't know what I was called to do. I had no clue on how I should um, move with this Christian walk and what I should do next. I learned over time my gifts and they begin to unfold as I begin to walk it out with Holy Spirit. So it don't come overnight. It's a it's a process of learning your gifts and learning how to use them because it's a difference in once you learn your gift, but what do you do with the gift? Are you using it actively every single day? You know, I started I started off using my gifts. I had a nine to five and it was hard. It was hard juggling, trying to use my gift and have the nine, nine to five, but I knew where I was going. I knew what God was calling me into, which was full-time ministry and to do kingdom work. So my goal was to strive towards that. And that's what I did. And he moved me from the nine to five into full-time ministry and to really focus on building his people up in the, in the midst of me. Um, using my gifts to be able to bring glory to his name. So today I really want to come from that angle, like with having this understanding of how our gifts make room for us and walking in obedience with the Holy Spirit. One thing I want you to take from today's episode is that we have to get in the habit of asking questions. When I say asking questions, we got to get in the habit of asking a lot of questions because if we never ask questions, we never get answers. And I had to learn that the more I ask God questions, the more I would get answers, the more I would understand where he's taking me. Because a lot of times when we sit back and we we're in confusion, we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what God is doing in our life, but that comes through us praying and also asking him questions. But a lot of times when we do, are we waiting for the answer? Because I truly believe that it's important to wait for the answer when we asking God questions. Because a lot of times we will pray, 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 but we don't wait to receive from him. We don't wait for him to tell us what's in our hand, what's the gifts and how to use it. Because once he revealed to us our gifts, we have to understand how to use it through the way of the Holy Spirit. When Moses had the rod in his hand, he didn't. he thought it was just a rod. That's all Moses thought. It was just a rod in his hand. But God showed him that he was going to use that very rod to, to um, depart the Red Sea. So that's just like with us. What is it that's in our hand today? What is it that God have placed in us to be able to maneuver and for him to use it for his glory? Because at the end of the day, that's what it's about, to bring God glory, to glorify his name. So as it says in Mark eleven twenty four, therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. I want to stop right there because I really want you guys to focus on the scriptures today in your quiet time that the word of God says, whatever you ask for in prayer. So they go back to what I'm saying. We have to ask questions. We have to ask God in prayer for things. And then he said, if we believe it, then we will receive it. So we first we have to ask in prayer and then we have to believe it in order to receive it and it will be ours. So we have to ask in prayer. We have to believe it, receive it, and it will be ours. And verse 25 says, and whatever you, you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone so that your father also who is in heaven may forgive you for your trespasses. So I really want to focus on this scripture too, because if we asking questions, if we're asking God questions and we're believing for answers, we have to remember that we have to first forgive because God said, if we don't forgive, he won't forgive us and for, unforgiveness block our prayers. It block us receiving answers. How will we know our identity in Christ? How will we know our identity and what God have placed inside of our hand if we don't forgive? So we have to make sure that we forgive when we're asking these questions. So you have permission to ask God however many questions you want. He don't get tired of us asking questions. He don't get tired of us asking, okay, what if what is our gifts? How can we use this gift to grow the kingdom of God? How can we use this gift 
to be a blessing to others. And I want to really touch on the Holy Spirit place on my heart to really touch on how a lot of us grew up in homes where we was told to be quiet. We was told that we talk too much. And that was, that came up against our voice, our vocals that made us shy down. That made us didn't want to speak on certain things because we thought we was going to get in trouble. We thought, we thought that, um, that we didn't have like a chance to speak or it was not a place to speak at times. But with God, he's not like that. He want us to ask him questions. He questions. He want us to come to him, but also believe that we will receive our answers to understand what it is he calling us to do. And when we grew up in homes like that, um, I personally grew up in a home like that and I was very silenced. And I was I was silenced from a child. And I and once I came out of that silence, which was rooted in fear, I was able to use my voice to bring glory to God. I was able to begin to use my voice to help others come from out of that, come from out of that silence and begin to use their gifts and begin to use what God placed inside of them. And when you grow up in a home like that, and a lot of it, a lot of it steer from childhood trauma, we all know that it's not normal. It's not normal to be silenced. It's not normal to not ask questions. It's not normal to just go with the flow if it don't flow with what God is calling you to do. And we can get stuck there. So I want this episode today for you to for you guys to be remind, reminded that it's okay to ask questions because how would you know the will of the Lord for your life if you never ask questions? How would you know what he placed in your hand to deliver you and your bloodline. We, we, I want to stay on the story of Moses today because it really go in context with today's episode because Moses didn't understand his authority at first. He didn't understand that. He thought because he had a stuttering problem, he couldn't do God's will. He thought he was like not able to do it. And God had to show him like, I'm calling you to do this. I'm calling you to free my people. I'm calling you. You the one I chose today. So if you're on this episode today, you're wherever you're tuning in from, you're on my YouTube, you're on TikTok today, wherever you're tuning in, you're called to do what God is calling you to do. You're called to be able to know what he have placed in your hand, to be able to get these things done and to do it with ease. Because once we do things with God, and we do it with ease. He's able to really help us in this area and for us to free his people. And a lot of times, you know, when 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 you're silenced too, um, you have no clue. Like I had no clue that I was called to speak. I had no clue because I was afraid to ask those questions. I was afraid to um just just really have a conversation those hard conversations but when I begin to have it with God and he began to tell me like it's okay to ask questions it's 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 okay to be able to move in the way that he's calling me to move in and do it with confidence and do it with him I begin to be free I begin to allow myself to really 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 be free to speak and to understand what he was calling me to do in this time and i want you guys to really think about that as you listen to this episode as you're watching this video today that begin to think about what god have placed in your hand what he is telling you to do and and what and what it is that you can do with the gifts so you might be wondering how to know what's in your hand once you ask and get your answers once the holy spirit released to you what the gifts are, or you might be the one that know your gifts. Are you being obedient to using it? Because go back to Moses. Moses had the rod in his hand, but God told him to strike the rod. And then when he did it, it turned to the snake. It turned to different things because God wanted to show him that it's going to be by my might, by my power, that you're going to be able to deliver these people. It's not going to be because of you and what you can do. So I want you guys to think about that as you're listening to this episode today that as he's as he probably already revealed to you or you probably don't know what your gifts are, I want you to be obedient with using them today. I want you be to be obedient with using your gifts today. 
I believe that's very important because a lot of times we've taken a lot of information, but then we have to apply it. Because if Moses didn't apply it, how would he be able to, how God would have been able to use him to, to, to part the Red Sea? He had to be obedient and he had to scratch out the rod and command that sea to be um, spread it apart. So through the power of God, of course, but he had to be obedient first, even though he felt like he wasn't qualified. So you might feel like you're not qualified to do what God is calling you to do. You might feel like you cannot do it. You don't have the resources. You don't have the funds. You don't have the people with you. Nobody is rooting in your corner. You, But we have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper. He's our friend. He's somebody that we should get to know. You guys know I teach on the Holy Spirit all the time, all the time, because it's very important to partner in all things with the Holy Spirit. Even if you feel lonely in this season, even if you feel like, like all hell is breaking loose, you feel like nothing is working in this time, it's working. It's all working to the glory of God. Because when we look, in the text and we look how God, how Moses was being used and how the people began to complain. They began to say, oh, you should have just left us. You should have just left us. You brought us out here to die. But in all getting, Moses had an understanding that, hey, God showed me what this gift is in my hand. I believe that God is going to do exactly what he called us to do. Moses moved by way of revelation. The people who was complaining, they had no revelation of who God was to, to the point where they doubted God. Even though they saw God do a lot of things over and over and over, they still didn't have a personal revelation enough to trust God in all things. So this episode today is to really challenge us with faith and to believe God because at the end of the day, he said all things is possible with him. With man, it's impossible, but with him, it's possible. So allow God to use what's in your hand today for him to be glorified, for his name to be glorified, for his name's sake, so he would get the glory through our lives because it's all about him. It's all about him, but it's all about as well for you to be obedient with what he placed in your hand. And another thing I want to touch on is the testing. When we go through the trials, when we go through the experiences, when we're going through something and we feel like God is not there, but God is always there because the scripture says that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So when God is moving, when he's making his name great through us, it's going to be testing. It's going to be trials. Look at Jesus Christ. Jesus went through so much and he was the son of God. He is the son of God. So what, what, who are we to not go through testing, to not go through trial, but it's how we get through it. It's how we are allowing these things to mold us into who God called us to be, because it's either we're going to be on the side of defeated or we're going to be on the side of victory because we already have the victory through Jesus Christ. But a lot of times we look defeated because we're focusing on the circumstances. When the people begin to focus on the circumstances, they begin to look very defeated. They begin to to think God have left them in the wilderness to die because they was looking at the present circumstances. But if they was looking at it in the way of revelation of who God already showed them, who he is to them, then they would have never complained. The complaining is what delayed them from reaching the promised land. So that's very important to remember when we're using our gifts, when we're using it. Don't look at the circumstances. Don't look at how it's being used or it's not working. It's going to look the total opposite. You guys know I talked about this um, on one of my episodes. Like it's going to When you walk in by faith and not by sight, when you walk in container with the Holy Spirit, when God is making you do things that look opposite of man and what they want you to do, it's going to look very opposite. It's going to look the opposite of the word that he have given you. But that's why he said, endure, 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 continue to endure because it's very important when you're using your gifts and you, you're, you're starting to understand your identity in Christ. So when you're looking at the significance of what he placed in your hand, um, 
are you looking at the significance or are you looking at your limitation? I'm going to pause right now. I'm going to ask that again. Are you looking at the significance of what God placed in your hand? Or are you looking at your limitation? Your limitation is your limited belief. Your limitation is your limited limited belief, your limited thinking, your limited mindset, your, your limited resources. These are the limitations. But we have the significance of what God has placed in our hands, which look little. It might look small. He give us a seed, but it's for him to water it. But it's what we do with the seed that matters to God. It's what we're doing in the midst of the trials, in the midst of it looking like it's not working. What are we doing? Are we folding? Are we beginning to give, giving up the things he have given us? Or are we continuing to press through? And that's in the present where our identity is grown in God. In the present is where the oil begin to flow. In the present, we find ourselves in the will of God and we begin to get the promises and the things that God have already already ordained for our life it's already done it's already completed when jesus died on the cross he said it is finished so by us using what he placed in our hand we're we're using it from a finished work we're starting from a finished work it's already finished but with the limitations we look at the limitations a lot but we can't do nothing about our limitations a lot of things that we're limited And we can't do nothing about it, but God will be glorified through that limitation if we allow him to use us and to use what he have given us this day. Because in Matthew 19, 26, it says, Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. He didn't say some things. He didn't say maybe. He didn't say might. He said all things, all things are possible with him. Because with man, we're limited. With man, everything is limited. This world is limited. But with God, all things are possible. So it's him that fill in the gap, guys. It's him that's going to help us use what's in our hand. It's him that have placed these things in our hand so he will be glorified at all times so go forth in your mandate today this episode today is to shake us up is to understand our identity in christ and to understand what's in your hands don't forget that we first have to pray we have to ask questions pray believe and receive it and it will be ours but we also have to forgive we have to forgive we can't have unforgiveness on our hearts because our prayers will be blocked our prayers will be hindered and god don't want that for us so use what's in your hand today use whatever he placed inside of you the gifts you know your gifts use it if you don't know your gifts you have to start by square one and you begin to ask god to reveal it when he reveal it be obedient to what he tell you to do with the gifts today and don't forget Moses' story. Moses had a rod in his hand, but that rod was used by God as a miracle. So today, 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 understanding your identity in Christ today relies on you understanding what God have placed in your hands. After this episode, I hope you guys was very blessed. And I hope you understand more and more what and how to inquire because you guys know I'm very practical. So it's different than me coming and giving you guys a word, but also the practical part is to put it in place. So I hope you guys was blessed. I pray that you have a blessed week this week. I pray this week God will blow your mind. I pray this week that this week will be the beginning of your destiny and your victory week. And before I leave, I also want to say thank you guys for rocking with us for the past three years Walk Ready Empowerment turned three years old. So I'm excited to really um, just 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 thinking about how far um, God has brought us, brought this ministry that is really a blessing. And I have been having so much fun over these past three years. I'm just pouring out and helping guide you guys through the transition, through the different things that we have experienced. At this point, we're family, okay? 
And these past three years have been a blessing. So I want to thank you for always tuning in to the podcast show. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if this episode bless you today, I want you to share it with a friend, share it with your sister, share it with your brother, share it with anybody, share it in the group chat, share it with people who will be blessed from this episode today. People who you may know that may be struggling in their walk with God and trying to figure out where they stand and probably having trouble with asking questions to understand them, their identity and what God have placed inside of them. Share this with them today. And I thank you again for tuning in to today's episode and be blessed. Bye.